curious, yes, I was the gay man in that story. No way. That's a, that's a true story. Uh, did he embellish? He did, but just a little. Um, <laughs> oh, all right. So next coming up, we got another super funny comic. She's been doing shows all over. She's getting better every time. Give it up for Laura Lyons. <laughs> Oh, good. I really like when I'm brought on stage and it's like, she's really trying hard. Um, it just like, uh, it's realistic expectations, right? Because like women have ovaries and that soaks up all our ability to be funny. Um, so. Thank you, thank you. Uh, cool. Uh, there's a 15 year old in the audience and I asked his parents if I could do my comedy and they have no idea what they're in store for. I'm really sorry. Most of this material is about when I was in high school and that I realized my high school experience is pretty messed up. Um, on that note, uh, that disclaimer, uh, I think most women are like Ferraris, right? Those are like beautiful and like fun to ride. Um, but I'm a little bit more like a unicycle in that I'm complicated and if you don't know how to ride me, I'll break your neck. Uh, I do have eight months clean and sober, you guys. Clean and sober, eight months, thank you very much. Um, I go to a lot of, yeah, you can drink that for me. Um, thank you, cheers. Uh, I go to a lot of recovery meetings, and men go there too. And I had a man come up to me and be like, hey, what brings you in here? <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> Heroin brought me in here, not you, dude. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's what D.A.R.E. should have been. It should have just been like officer friendly, bringing in that guy and being like, hey, if you use drugs, you'll have to talk to him. Like, I would have never done it. There's so many better ways to get messed up. Um, I do go to court a lot. It's unrelated to drugs, but I do go to court a lot. And like, every time I go, they'll like, want to take my pocket knife which is like really weird. It's like, do you confiscate all the men's penises when they walk in? Because I promise that's done way more damage than my pocket knife has done, right? <laughs> what if I say it's like a therapy pocket knife? Like I need it for when guys get too close. <laughs> I think they're afraid I'm gonna pull it out and then uh, dudes will see how big four inches actually is. And... <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay, mom, sorry. I forgot I was, I was not gonna do that one. Um, and there, there it is now. Uh, when I was in middle school, I asked my dad for some pepper spray and he said, no, honey, I can't do that because statistically speaking, pepper spray is turned on the victim, but if you're scared, I can sign you up for track. So when I was in middle school, I was enrolled in track and uh, the good news is, I can now out pole vault any rapist. <laughs> they don't stand a chance, you guys. My stick is bigger than theirs, for sure. <laughs> I went to an all-girls Catholic high school. Uh, our school mascot was a tampon. Um, it was a hard time in my life, though, you guys. Like, I had to hide my makeup from my mom because, like, I was 15, on the outside of my blush, in big old letters, it said, Deep Throat. My blush was called Deep Throat, you guys. Like, I could not have my mom walking in on me applying that unrealistic expectation, right? Like, that's not gonna be good. It's only women's products that are like that, too, right? Like, you never walk into a store for dudes and see a pair of pants called, like, Blue Balls Blue. Don't. <laughs> You never walk into a store for babies and see a baby carriage called Shoulda Done Anal Orange, right? It's not fair. There's so much stacked against us. Wait, Isa? Am I going too dark? No, Lisa. Oh, Lisa. Okay, dude. That's fine. Is she here tonight? No? No. Oh, they're all pointing at you and you're saying no. Lisa's here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, you Lisa! ridiculously attractive friend group or family just to, like family. you're so beautiful oh god that was the table i wasn't allowed to sit at at high school um, 
Thanks. Uh, I did go to an all-girls school, cool, but I did have a boyfriend. I actually, because I didn't live at school, like I was able to leave. Um, and I really wanted to learn how to have sex, because Catholic, I wasn't taught, neither was he, so we were really determined to try, though. Um, so here's an impression of me as a 15-year-old trying to have sex with my 15-year-old boyfriend. And that's when he said, actually, my dad said not to. And then he started crying, um, which is the best case scenario because tears are easier to clean up than comes. So. <laughs> it's for the best. Really, we all won that night. Uh, I'm in law school now, believe it or not. I'm in law school, and my safe word is objection. Um, Relevance, I'm not your mommy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, law school's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, I had a boyfriend in law school, which was such a mistake. Like, why would you ever date someone who could maybe win an argument against me? Why would I do that to myself? Um, so here's a joke about him. Uh, why did the boyfriend cross the road? Why? To get away from me. Um, <laughs> what's the difference between me and law school? My boyfriend can commit to law school. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Ted Bundy went to my law school, that's a true fact. They also send out class rank in law school. So here's my ex-boyfriend, top of the class. And here I am, I'm 198 out of 200 people. I know! And I was telling my friend this and she was like, don't worry, Laura, it's okay. Like, at least you're still doing better than Bundy. <laughs> no, I'm not. He was 17th in his class, okay, you guys? And he was out killing people, okay? I was studying. I can't even kill myself, okay? Like, doing way better than me. Uh... That's the end of that joke. Okay, moving on. Uh, the best part about being single is crying on both sides of the bed. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, God, I hate it so much. Being single is the worst. Um, I know by now you've noticed my tongue ring. Uh, it's fine, it is what it is. I do hate when guys are like, oh, you got a tongue ring because you like, you know, oh. Um. And I was like, no, I didn't get a tongue ring because I like, you know, I got a tongue ring because I want my mom to think I like. <laughs> All right, well, that's been my time. I've been Laura Lyons. You've been 15 and the rest of you have been great. Goodbye. Give it over.